Six to go from Miami here. William Byron currently has a pretty good lead, but Tyler Reddick is closing in on everybody here. His momentum got slowed there by Truex, though. He's got to keep chugging along. If not, William Byron might have a cakewalk to his second career win. He gets blocked in by Truex, though. He'll go down low. The block. Now he goes down high with the lap. Down high. Up high with the lap car. Reddick up high. He's going to get blocked in by Larson here. But you can see he doesn't want to do the crossover because his car is not that good low. He wants that top groove. Hoping the 19 gives it to him, and he does. 19 gives it to him, but he's probably going to close it right back up. No, he doesn't. Right there alongside Truex. Nearly got loose. Nearly put him in the wall there. Reddick is up to third. Whoa, boy. He saved the car, but he's probably lost his opportunity to get up there to the front. And how about the fuel situation? Is anybody saving? Is anybody going to make it? This is the battle right now for the second spot. Larson trying to keep both Truex and Reddick at bay. Michael McDowell currently running in the sixth spot. An impressive run for that number 34 team after winning the Daytona 500 as Truex nearly gets in the wall. Followed by Ryan Newman, Cole Custer, Alex Bowman, and Kurt Busch. William Byron, the race leader, he won a race at Daytona in the same state of Florida last year to clinch himself a playoff spot. He has not won a race at an intermediate racetrack or a non-restricted plate track in his career in the Cup Series. They were mentioning that if you told all of us that the first three winners of the year would be Michael McDowell, Christopher Bell, and William Byron, we'd be saying, what kind of vodka are you drinking? It's Dixie Vodka. White flag, last lap in the Dixie Vodka 400, presented by Credit One Bank. Does everybody have enough fuel to get home? Did you pick the 24? I may have. <laughs> Jeff Gordon, former driver of the 24, is Tyler Reddick. <laughs> Gets by Kyle Larson for second, but it's going to be too little too late. Byron trying to nurse it out of turns three and four. He'll do just that. Career win number two at Homestead Miami Speedway for the Charlotte, North Carolina native. Reddick second, Truex nips Kyle Larson for third. Kevin Harvick gets a top five. Michael McDowell finishes sixth. Hendrick Motorsports closing in on the NASCAR record for most team wins. Impressive job. Well, we started the season saying expect the unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, expect the unexpected. This is the third full-time Cup Series race for Crew Chief Rudy Fugel. Byron and Fugel worked together in 2016 in the Truck Series back when he raced for Kyle Busch Motorsports. They won seven races together that year. And it looks like they're getting started again with a win in the third race of the season. Another top five for Harvick. He's the first Ford. Harvick and McDowell continue their streak of top tens to start the season. 
while Denny Hamlin does not. Uh, Self-inflicted penalty for too fast entering pit road. And Hamlin yeah, Hamlin exited pit road in third and had a good chance at winning, but he sped on pit road. Chase didn't really do so hot after running into, uh, nearly running into the wall, saving the race car, battling for 10th earlier. Yeah, those guys are a happy bunch. Came into the living room of my house to record this. My uh, big TV in my bedroom was having some reception issues. Jamie Littles with our winner. Fox Sports going to interview him. Byron goes from 31st to 1st, leads 102 laps. William, what can you say about the performance of this race team and your crew chief, Rudy Fugel, who wins for the first time in only three races? Yeah, I mean, that guy is... Uh been huge for my career he's the reason i'm here and uh you know i i'm glad we could get him and uh he's just awesome and this whole team did a phenomenal job uh everybody pit crew over the wall um extremely blessed thanks god to for all the things that it takes to get to this level uh great boss and mr h jeff gordon uh galta this car looks really cool so i'm just i can't even believe it honestly it was a just a really smooth day and uh we worked hard in the winter on this track and can't believe it. William, you told me this race was going to be won under the light on the bottom of the racetrack. How much emphasis did you put on staying off the wall for this race? Yeah, I mean, you had to go over the wall at certain times. Three, four was really fast up there. Um, definitely didn't do it as good as the Xfinity cars do it, but I, I used it when I had to, and uh, this car was just awesome. It, it really is a lot of hard work. I think we went to the sim four or five times this off season, and uh, just pays off, man. It's awesome. Congrats. This guy. Congratulations, there he is. Rudy Fugel gets the high five from his driver, Regan. Well, Tyler Reddick comes home in second place. Tyler. Yeah, these two are going to be competing for a long, long time, I think. Just grind it as hard as you can up there. A great performance at the end. Yeah, Regan, it was, you know, second place is what we... It's a good night considering how the first two weekends it went, but uh, I need to get this chair to scratch kitchen uh, Chevy to victory lane because if I would have... Would have gotten uh, a lot of people in America free uh, chicken tenders on Monday night. But, uh, yeah, once I really saw how fast we were in clean air at the end there and I saw how fast we were catching everybody, it's beyond frustrating. Just two or three different decisions on a restart would have put me miles ahead and I would have been within reach. So, yeah, second's great, but I saw how much faster I was than the, those guys there at the end. So, naturally, it's frustrating. Thanks, Tyler. Reddick just misses out on his first cup win. Byron gets his second. Viva Las Vegas next week.